Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to review the newest arrivals from Target. I found some really cute dresses, some affordable workwear, and I also have some new home finds to share with you in today's video. Today officially kicks off Target Circle Week. So throughout this week, there are tons of deals if you're a Target Circle member, which is free. I think you just need to download the app or just sign up to be a member. I'm not really sure, but might as well do that if you shop at Target regularly because you can also accumulate basically dollars at Target. I will put some of the highlighted deals on the screen if you want to browse. They have a bunch of different categories included, but today we are focusing on fashion since that's what my channel is all about, and I do also have some home finds to share as well. If this is your first time joining me for a video, welcome. My name is Amanda, and here on my channel, I love sharing the cutest fashion finds with y'all. I'm a millennial mom, so I tend to do more everyday style. I focus on affordable fashion, but I do like to mix a little bit of high and low if it's a really good investment piece for a capsule wardrobe or something like that. But usually most of the pieces here are under 100, maybe under $150 on my channel. And my personal style is very classic, maybe a little bit Southern since I'm in Georgia. And I do tend to lean more on the classy conservative side with my pieces. So if you have a similar style, I would consider subscribing so you don't miss my future uploads. Here is a quick reference on my body type. I do put my sizing info in the description box just so you can use that as a reference to shop if it helps pick out your sizing. I tend to be between a small and a medium and I'm 5'5 five five for height reference. All right, starting off with outfit number one, I found this beautiful white midi dress. This has such a flattering fit in the top. I really like the cut. It fits perfectly. I'm wearing a size small. This retails for $40. It does have a cross in the back with adjustable straps. I was able to wear a regular strapless bra with this one. If you need a good strapless bra recommendation, I'll leave my favorite one down below as well as my sizing recommendation for that because it's a little bit off there, but it is super comfortable and it's the one I usually wear in all my videos. This dress does have a little bit of a drop waist. I have a very short torso and longer legs, but I do feel like this one is still flattering on me. It kind of has that corset style that is very in, but it's not too long on my short waist. I styled this dress with my favorite sandals. These were a best-selling sandal last year, and I'm so glad that they're back this year in case you missed out on them. They are so chic, and I feel like they just really embrace that classic Southern style that I love. They're easy to slip off and on. They're not uncomfortable. This is one of my favorite shoe brands, and they are true to size. Next up is this blue and white striped dress. I could not believe this one is from Target. I will say, after this haul, I feel like Target has finally stepped it up. They have been kind of blah since 2020 and taking a weird direction with their style, I feel like, but this haul definitely knocked it out of the park and I was so impressed with the pieces that I found. I feel like they honestly don't even look like Target to me. This dress looks more expensive than it was. I did get a size six in this dress. I can be between a four and a six and it's definitely too big in the top. I feel like the top in general runs a little bit bigger Maybe if you're larger busted, it's a little more true to size, but if you are on the smaller side, I would say it runs a little bit big in the top. The straps on this dress are adjustable and you can actually remove them as well if you wanna wear it strapless. It does have a zipper on the side, so it was really easy to get off and on. I will also mention the belt loop on this one is kind of excessively long. I had to wrap it all the way around to my back and kind of tuck it in. A quick little style hack for that, you can use double-sided tape if you don't want or don't like the look of just kind of tucking it in like I did here, or you can even use a little clear elastic like the kind that you use in toddler hair or to do like different hairstyles with. You can also wrap that around the belt loop just to keep the strap intact since it goes well around the belt loop holes on the side. With this outfit, I styled it with some Amazon accessories. These white sandals I've had for at least two years, if not three, honestly, all the years. I'm a mom. All the years are a blur right now, but these have been one of my favorite Amazon purchases over the years. I've styled them over and over again. They come in so many different color options and they are very comfortable. I love the thinner strap. I feel like they go with a lot and they do have a thicker heel. So you can wear them in the grass without sinking. So they're also great to dress up. And then this bag, I feel like is such a great look for less to a favorite brand of mine from Nordstrom. I love the little pearl detail. This one is meant to just wear on the forearm or hold it in your hand. It doesn't hold a ton, but it does hold a large iPhone Max if you have one. 
I also wanted to show y'all there is this really cute rhinestone straw bag option as well. This one is smaller than the Amazon one, but it does also fit a larger phone. It will peek out like just at the top, but it does fit. Next up is this black midi dress. This one also has a longer torso. I would say it is more on the long torso side, friendly side than for the short waist people. I don't think it's horrible, but it definitely causes a little bit of a hip pucker on me. I do think if I adjusted the straps, it would be a little bit of a better fit on me to kind of shorten that length. I wasn't able to do it while I was wearing it. It was a little finicky, but once I took the dress off, I was able to adjust the straps. So just a little note there. With this dress, I was not able to wear a strapless bra with it because of the cutout opening. I'm sure it kind of depends on where yours typically sits. So instead, of a strapless bra I just put in these removable non-adhesive nipple covers which I definitely recommend if you don't have these they're a great little kind of wardrobe staple item I hate those pads that come in bras so these days I take them out and I just use these instead you can rewash them and reuse them pretty much forever and they don't have adhesive but they do sort of stick with your body heat, although they are best to be worn with something that's fitted. This dress has a mixed media fabric, so on top it's more of a softer, stretchy cotton, and then on the bottom it's more of like a poplin style cotton material. And the skirt definitely has a little bit of volume to it, and it does have pockets. I'm wearing a size small in this dress. I would say it is true to size. If you are in between, there is room to size down because the top is very stretchy and the bottom half is roomy. I paired this look with these wavy sandals. These are a great look for less to Sam Edelman. These sandals are very comfortable. I did get my normal sandal size. They do run a tad small, so if you prefer a little extra length on your shoes, I would recommend a size up a half size. I also paired this look with my favorite sun hat. I tend to always pull this hat out for items that are black just to pull in that black stripe a little bit more. The reason I love this hat is because it does come in different size options. I love the structure to it. I've had it for over five years now, and it's just my go-to this time of year or for warm weather vacations. I'm very fair, and I take my sun protection very seriously. Next up is this white eyelet mini dress. I shared this one in my last Target haul, and it is a personal favorite of mine, so I wanted to restyle it in today's video in case you missed it. This dress feels like great quality. It's fully lined. I also like that the lining is sort of stitched into the dress and it doesn't feel super cheap. It does fully button in the front, so it's nursing friendly. That is how you get the dress off and on. So if you are impatient and don't want to deal with buttons, then I would probably pass on this one. But I personally love it. It has a great structure in the collar. The sleeves are puffy, but they're not too big and they're also not tight in the arm. So you don't have that like tight smocking around the bicep area. I I paired this look with my favorite white sneakers. If you are looking for the best white sneaker, I have seriously recommended these for almost three years now. I have a video breaking down a bunch of different white sneakers, reviewing them, and those were by far the best for the price point and comfort. I will link the white sneaker review down below if you are curious on the other pairs that I tried, but this is my favorite white sneaker. I actually recently repurchased them just so I could have a fresh white pair. Although I kind of feel like I'm still going to wear the older pair more because I'm going to reach for those for traveling and things like that. Next up is this tan midi dress. This one came in four colors. I will say the color options were very warm tone and I don't tend to go for those types of colors, but I ended up trying the tan and it wasn't as horrible on my skin tone as I was expecting. I think because I had just had a fresh application of self tanner, which definitely helps. They were out of the small at my store. So I actually picked this one up in an extra small and I think it still has a good fit. It is very stretchy. It doesn't feel like it's cutting into my arms, which I was expecting since this isn't my typical size. So it is a very comfortable dress. It's stretchy fabric. I will note that the fabric on the bottom half can get a little clingy and hangy. So just depending on how it fits you, it may kind of accentuate some hips or if you have a lower tummy area. So if you do notice that to be the case on the one that you try, you may want to try the next size up just so it has a little bit of a roomier fit through that area and hopefully won't cling as much. This dress is $25, so it is on the more affordable side at Target. Most of the dresses that I've tried were $35 to $40, so this one was definitely more affordable, and I can see myself reaching for it a lot because it's really comfortable to wear around the house, 
And it also had a great torso length for me if you do have a shorter waist. I paired this outfit with a very casual straw tote. This bag comes in four different strap color options. There's black, gold, white, and then I picked up the brown. I feel like it's a very classic summer bag option. It kind of reminds me of higher end price points, which I have been eyeing. I've been eyeing like Celine and Chloe, but it's just hard for me to spend that much money for a straw bag. So I went for this one instead and I'm very happy with it. Next up is this white mini dress and this one unfortunately is going back. I feel like it was just a little too cupcakey for me, but I still wanted to share it in case you are shopping for someone who's maybe younger. I hate to say that though, because I really don't think age defines what you should wear. If you like it and feel good in it, that is all, truly all that matters. But on me, I just, I guess I didn't like it on me. So yeah, not necessarily because of my age. I don't know. I have mixed feelings on that, as you can tell. But it just felt very bottom heavy. There was a lot of weight towards the bottom and I just, I don't know, it just didn't seem super flattering on me. And there are so many other white dresses that I know I would reach for over this one. But it is a really affordable option. It's $35, so if you are shopping for someone maybe for gra white graduation dresses or things like that, I definitely could have seen myself reaching for this like 15 years ago with some you know, country boots, going to a country concert or something like that. <laughs> on my feet, I'm wearing these pearl sandals, which are such a great little find if you love pearls like I do, or if you're a bride-to-be shopping for some honeymoon sandals, these are really affordable and they're also really well-made for a Target sandal. <laughs> I just unboxed these bow sandals and definitely had to include these because I know some of y'all love your bows as much as I do. These are very comfortable. They have a very thick memory foam insole. I did get an eight and a half and I feel like they run a tiny bit big for an eight and a half. So if you are in between, I would definitely suggest sizing down. All right, y'all, this dress was just a heck to the no for me. It is, it went straight to like the return pile, basically. I loved the color of it and honestly, it started off promising, but the problem with this dress is I think the straps, because they are stretchy, they sit too high. So the dress was like, not sitting in the right place. Plus it had this fabric overlay underneath that was just too short and it was going straight across my boobs. And I would try to pull it down, but the straps would just pull it right back up type of thing. So this one was definitely an epic fail and will definitely be going back. I did think the color was beautiful. Also, another reason I didn't love this dress is the slit was on the back and I feel like it would look so much better if the slit was on the front just to break up the flow of the bottom. Next up is this blue and white tunic dress, and this is another personal favorite of mine. I feel like it is so classy, a little bit more elevated, and it has a really flattering fit. I love the tunic neckline, how it doesn't have a collar to it. It's just very clean and simple. It does button fully in the front, so again, another nursing-friendly option. Depending on where you work, I think you could make this work, like if you are a hairdresser or something like that, but I do wanna mention it does have a little slit on the side to make get pretty short there so it won't work in most offices but just depending on your dress code I do think some of you would be able to wear this to work during the summer looks really cute paired with these white pearl flats these have been a target bestseller I love the sling back detail they're true to size if you're in between I would suggest sizing down just to have a closer fit with the strap all right, next up, let's style some affordable work outfits from Target. First work look, I'm styling these affordable work pants, and these have been a favorite of mine to style throughout the years. I think they're such a great price point and have a really nice fit. And I'm also so glad that they finally brought in a couple new colors. I feel like they've just been carrying the same plaid versions of these pants for quite some time. So when I saw this cream color, I got so excited and ordered them instantly. These pants do run a little bit smaller. I'm wearing a six and it is a pretty close fit for a six, but they are stretchy. They just zip up on the side. They have no you know, belt loops or pockets or anything like that. So it's just a very smooth, seamless fit. When styling these, I do generally style them with longer layers over top just because they are pretty skin tight in the booty area, but I am also always cold, so when it comes to workwear, I tend to do longer layers over top anyway. Here I styled it with this blue button-down top. This has also been a favorite of mine from Target recently. 
It looks really great with some white jeans or even some white shorts, but you can also make it work in your summer work wardrobe. It retails for $28 and I went with a size medium in this one because it has a boxier cropped fit. I wanted to make sure that it had a good flow to it. So I went with the medium in this top. Next up, I'm styling these $28 chino pants. I am wearing these in a size six. I do wish that they had more color options in these pants because they are such a good find really flattering, super comfortable. If you are a teacher or if you need comfortable work pants that are affordable, definitely check these out. You can easily get on the floor in these. They're not restrictive in the tummy area. I also really like the wider waistband. I think it just looks really flattering even on my shorter waist. I would be curious to try the size down because I do think these might stretch a little bit with wear. So if you are in between, it won't hurt to size down. I'm 5'5 five five for height reference and I love where they hit right above the ankle and they have a little bit of a looser wide leg fit, which is very on trend these days. If, if you're looking to kind of veer away from skinny jeans in an affordable, comfortable way, definitely check these out. Next up are these work pants and I had to give these a try because looks wise, I feel like they kind of remind me of the Spanx Perfect Black Pants. Material wise, they're definitely not in the same ballpark type of thing. But if you want a similar option that is much more affordable, these are very comfortable and I would say close enough. I personally wouldn't be comfortable wearing these without a longer layer over my bottom because they kind of look like yoga pants in the back. I just don't think they look super dressy for workwear. So here I styled it with a longer blazer and then I also tried it with my favorite camel cardigan. Both were great options. These pants have a cropped kick flare look, so they'll work with both flats or heels depending on what you prefer to wear to work. And then if you are curious about this camel coat again, I would suggest sizing down. I actually size down two sizes from my normal. So here I'm wearing an extra, extra small. I do have a size comparison and rounded up some ways to style it on my blog, strawberrychicblog.com. So I will link that down below if you wanna check it out. This is meant to have a cardigan look to it, so it is very oversized, but I personally prefer a closer cardigan type of look, so that's why I size down two sizes. But in general, I would recommend everyone at least size down one. I am a big fan of Target's home decor section. I have quite a bit of their decor pieces throughout my home, so I'll link to some of the items that I have just in case they are on sale for the Target Circle Week or whatever, but I did find a couple new things and I cannot believe they are still in stock. I have a feeling they will sell out pretty quickly, but hopefully not before this video goes up. So first find is this adorable scalloped basket. I cannot believe this is still in stock. The smaller or the larger floor size is out of stock, which I was a little bummed about because I wouldn't mind having that one. But I picked up two of the larger baskets that I plan to use either in Josie's playroom or in her bedroom. Next find is this gorgeous hydrangea print. I am very particular about the prints that I add to my home because I am very fortunate to have a lot of artists in my family and have an amazing art collection because of my mom. However, I could not say no to this affordable print. I love the coloring of it. Also love the gold frame. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to hang it, maybe in my office area or maybe guest bathroom. If you love affordable fashion hauls, I tend to do a Target haul on my channel each month with their new arrivals, so I would consider subscribing so you don't miss my future uploads. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you on Tuesday and Thursday this week with a new video. Bye.